PCR in Agricultural Sciences and Environment As I told you that PCR cannot only be used to detect infections that are caused by microbes in humans but it can also be used to detect different infections or pathogens that cause infection in animals as well as some agronomically important crops or in general plants. So microbes they can cause different infections in animals like in birds, uh, avian influenza it is very common or some uh, bacterial infections that is caused in economically uh, significant animals. Similar may be the case uh, with plants that different viral pathogens, bacterial pathogens or even fungus it can deteriorate the quality of the crops. So this PCR technique it has also been used to detect uh, different causal agents of uh, animal and plants as well. In addition to that if we want to enhance the productivity of the crops or to develop resistance against insects for example we can target or clone that particular gene that can enhance the crop efficiency in a particular environment or it can mediate the plant tolerance against certain insect attack. So uh, what we can do uh, we can transform the protoplast of the plants by using some specific technique that we will discuss uh, later on when we will uh, going to study that what are the applications of gene manipulation. But this time pe itna hi kehna kafi hoga ke uh, different genes ko uh, transform kiya ja sakta hai chahe wo uh, plants hain ya animals hain so that uh, they will show desirable expression that can be ultimately will benefit the plants as well as humanity so in agricultural practices a specific gene it can be transformed uh, to the host organisms इसके अलावा हमारे जो food products आते हैं like fresh agricultural produce है या plants हैं तो बाज दफा they uh, may be infected with pathogens like uh, uh, fresh agricultural produce हैं cucumber हैं या tomatoes हैं या कुछ और तरह के salads हैं leafy vegetables हैं जो कि हम use करते हैं तो during harvesting are processing they can be contaminated with some deadly uh, microorganisms like uh, which strain do E. coli ki hain they may be you know, very toxic and uh, some specific genes they can be targeted for the detection like enterohemorrhagic E. coli some genes can be targeted that produce shiga toxin that is lethal to the humans like shiga toxin gene 1 which is commonly called as SLT1 or SLT2 and uh, they can be targeted and uh, certain strains of uh, Escherichia coli that may be harmful like uh, E. coli 0157H7 this is one of the example of a pathogenic strain that can uh, cause infection to humans due to foodborne nature. So foodborne diseases they can be prevented by detecting the pathogens and here again uh, this application that is PCR it can uh, can be used. Nowadays different studies have been conducted that uh, showed the presence of different pathogenic microbes and their detection by using PCR. इसके अलावा हमारा एनवायरनमेंट है जिसमें हम रह रहे हैं तो उसमें भी डिफरेंट हार्मफुल एजेंट्स जो हैं वो एंटर हो रहे हैं इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पोल्यूशन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मटेरियल्स सम सिंथेटिक कंपाउंड्स आर देयर और इन सिंथेटिक कंपाउंड्स की वजह से 
क्या है कि इन्वायरमेंट की पोल्यूशन हो रही है और इस पोल्यूशन की वजह से जो इन्वायरमेंट की क्वालिटी है वो डिग्रेड हो गई है बहुत सारे हेल्थ uh, इश्यूज जो हैं वो आ रहे हैं लाइक सम एजेंट्स दे मे बी कैंसर कॉजिंग और कार्सिनोजेनिक एंड हेयर वी कैन यूज सर्टन माइक्रोब्स टू डिग्रेड दैम एंड इवन मॉडिफाइड माइक्रोब्स व्हिच वी कैन कॉल इट एज द जेनेटिकली मॉडिफाइड माइक्रोब्स एज आई टोल्ड यू दैट जेनेटिकली मॉडिफाइड क्रॉप्स कैन बी यूज and here the genetically modified microbes they can be produced by introducing specific uh, target genes and here again the pcr it can uh, provide the specific target target gene uh, so that a particular microbe it can degrade some pollutant in the environment so this technique it can also be used not only uh, in the field of agriculture to detect different diseases in are uh, to transform the organism but to uh, to introduce our gene of choice in the microbes so that they can clean the environment for us